today we are going to very very important topic uh, that is research proposal the beginners those who are doing the research or do, those who are taking the admission the master degree and they have the uh, project form so it's required the research proposal so how will you prepare the research proposal or what are the steps to prepare the research proposals are very very important what are that the steps of the research proposal or how will you write the research proposal in a proper way in a particular format so today we are uh, discussing about the research proposal here i share my some uh, ppts uh, for your uh, references when you are starting the writing of research proposal so there are the two important goals for the research proposal so what are that goals there are the two important goals number 1 to present and justify a research idea whatever the research idea about your research works in your mind you have to justify your research idea and second is what are your research idea you have to present that research idea in a practical way in a, uh, a particular format or in a uh, scientific process so these are the two important goals for the research when you start the writing of the research proposal so think on three questions and that questions are very very important for your research work first question is what research project will you undertake second why is important to know that thing and third how will you proceed to make that research means so which is the project you have to take for the your research work and why this research work is important to know the other purpose and what are your procedure to follow for this your research work so these three questions are very very important there are the three types of the research proposal number 1 research for the degree suppose you are the pg student like msc by research or med so that time you have to prepare the proposal for the degree purpose then suppose you will get some financial assistance from the um, iccsr or any of the university or any of the um, funding agencies so that time your research proposal time is the proposal for financial assistance and third one the research proposal for the for grants by the government suppose you are applying for the research work by the government government of maharashtra or any other of the uh, or government of india uh, national commission for women so that time your research proposal is little bit different because this uh, two research proposal that is the financial assistance and the grants by the government so there is a budget um, is required so and your for the your degree for purpose that is no budget is required so these are the three types of the research proposal now what are the components main components of the research proposal there are the 14 to 15 research components uh, of your research proposal so what are that the components we we'll study one by one so starting from the introductory section to the end of the budget this is the components of the research proposal this uh, introductory section then review of related research and the literature then what is the rationale and the need of your study what is the statement of the problem what are the operational definitions what are your research aims objective research question hypothesis 
which methodology of, uh, you have to follow then what are the uh, uh, which sampling techniques and what is your sample then which are the statistical techniques and the tool you have to use then how to the um, which uh, techniques for utilizing the data analysis then scope limitation and limitation delimitation of your study assumption and significance of the study time frame and the budget these are the research components uh, according to the university wise or the uh, say the professor wise it uh, uh, some steps are little bit different but the component should be the same uh, now let us take one by uh, one component uh, but before that we have to discuss what is the actual format of the research proposal uh, I have the experience, a number of the people don't know how to uh, write the proposal and what is the uh, a technical format of the proposal. So what it is, so take the page, page size of your research proposal is A4 size, margin 1 inch top, bottom 1.25 inch and then 1 inch for the right. Then line, line spacing is 1.5. Some people refer double spacing also, there is no issue. Alignment is justified. Font name English language times New Roman. Then font size English language 12 points, title of the paper bold and the central alignment. Font size English language 14 points. Then reference should be given in an APA style. Now let us discuss the components of the research proposal. The first part of your research proposal or the first component of your research is the introduction. So what in, in introductory part, what you have to write in your introductory part of your research proposal. The purpose is in your introductory part, to provide the necessary background or the contents of your research proposal. In your introduction, an introduction or introductory part of your research proposal, you have to write the necessary backgrounds of your research problem. So which questions, research question in your mind? So focus that research questions. Appropriate historical background and uh, uh, relate with the contemporary context. And last one is the key players or what are the key factors are important in your research proposal. Uh, I will give one example. Take any of the uh, title of your research proposal. Suppose there is a job satisfaction and life satisfaction of teacher. This is the example. This is the title of your research. Now, in the introductory background, you have to write all the things. Then what are the key players? historical background, what are the research questions in your mind and uh, use um, and connect with the contemporary context. Then last one, the key players means in this, that is the job satisfaction and the life satisfaction of the teachers. Here there are the three key players, job satisfaction and the life satisfaction. These are the two important key players and the teachers is the last uh, um, key players. So these are the key players of your research work. Titles. How to frame your titles? These are the some of the examples of the titles and the relationship between job satisfaction and life satisfaction of primary teachers. A study, a study of awareness of child rights education of teachers at different levels, computer phobia of teachers. A study of knowledge and use of internet by research scholars. These are the some of the titles I shared for the purpose of key players. Means what are the key players? What are the important factor of your research proposal? So these are the titles, and some from this title you can find out the key player. This is your activity. Okay. Criteria of good problem statement. How will you state your problem? A problem should be concerned with relation between the two or more variable. It should be stated very clearly 
and un unambiguously in a question form and it should be amenable to empirical testing. This is the uh, criteria of good research uh, uh, statement. Significance of your study. In the significance section, which things you have to write in the significance. So write why your study is important, to whom it is important, and what are the benefits will occur if your study is done. So for writing the significance, this you have to focus on this, why your research work is important, and whom it is important, and how it will be benefit for the society or the other people. So this is the significance of your problem. Then operational definition. So uh, let us go to the titles and see the titles. So what are the operational definition? Operational definition of the titles. It is the definition of variable in terms of the actual procedure used by the research. Suppose the improvement. This is the one of the word of you from your title. So what is mean by um, improvement? So according to your research work. So according to your research work, improvement means pre-test score minus post-test score. It is the definition of the operational definition of your uh, term improvement. Suppose teacher, teacher is one of the, so this is a, uh, uh, let's take the example of job satisfaction and life satisfaction of the teacher. So teacher, teacher means which teacher, right? Teacher means which teacher. So teacher means working in the primary schools, having the qualification of SSC, BA or HSC, HSC BA or suppose you have to take the university teachers, means a teacher means working in the university departments, having the qualification like a PhD. So this is the uh, definition of the uh, of operational definition of your uh, terms. Any terms you can take the definition. Now, the next important factor is Review of related literature and the research. So, when you start the research uh, proposal, writing of the research proposal, from that time towards the end of your results, so review of related literature and the research it is very very important part. When you start the research proposal, so means you know the background of the problem. Because you have to review the some of the researches and the literatures. Then which theories are relevant for your topic? Then write the theoretical perspectives. Then which research methods, its strategies, tools, and the control variables used in the prior research and finding of the prior research and their implications. Suppose your research is done. Then at the time of discussion and your result, so that times you have to discuss, you, are, uh, you have to uh, discuss or uh, analyze your finding to the previous researches and what are the differences uh, are there, you have to specify them. Then what are the strengths and the weaknesses of the previous studies? So you have to study all these points for the review of related Then how to write the review of related literature and the research. Then there are the classified two sections, the research conducted in India or research conducted in abroad or the national level research as well as the international research. Then write the reviews in a chronological order, write in an alphabetical manner. So these are the important steps for the writing of the research proposal. Then comes to the research questions. What, why and how? These are the three important questions. So start your research questions in this group. Then A, how, what are the research questions and then suppose your aim to study the background of hostel life. So you have to start the research question, what, why and how? So what type of impact? On the hostelers hostel life. Then aim of your study to study the reason for delinquency among secondary school students. 
then what is the research question why do some students become delinquent these are the some of the examples so you can go through these examples so you will get the idea of the research question and the aim of the uh, study so uh, now third question How, why so why do social media suffer uh, surfing habits influence career choices of the student in the aim to study the reason for students career choices being influenced by their surfing social media media habits in how type of profession how can students academic performance in mathematics be enhanced to study the effectiveness of inquiry training model in enhancing students academic performance in mathematics then objective how to write the objective when you start the writing of the objectives so you have to cover all the different aspects of your study then you have to frame your objectives in a very clearly phrased manner and use the action verbs the action verbs are very very important so how to write the, some of the examples i have given some of the examples here means action verbs means to study clearly phrase and use action verbs action verb means to study to compare to analyze to find out so these are the action verbs so these are the some of the examples see to study the relationship between awareness and opinion of elementary school teachers regarding auspicious values to compare the study habits of boys and girls to major the extent of job satisfaction of primary teachers to investigate so these are the some of the examples of the objectives then hypothesis what is mean by hypothesis we all of know that hypothesis is the tentative answer of your question or the tentative solution of the question so hypothesis a specific testable predictions it is an tentative answer and hypothesis explain what you ex expect will happen in a certain circumstances so there are the different types of the hypothesis research hypothesis so i have given the example there is a positive relationship between school climate and the job satisfaction of the teacher question from hypothesis let us take this research hypothesis into the question form is there a positive relationship between school climate and the job satisfaction answer is yes or no we don't know but in research hypothesis there is a one way is a positive relationship between the school climate and the job satisfaction of the teacher let's take another um, hypothesis type that is the directional hypothesis the academic achievement of girls in science is greater than that of boys so direction means this hypothesis gives a direction the girls achievement is greater than the boys or boys achievement is greater than the girls whatever you have to write in non directional hypothesis there is a relationship between school climate and the job satisfaction of the teachers this here it is mentioned the there is a relationship it doesn't mention it's a positive or it is negative or it is null um, uh, zero relationship okay and the last important hypothesis type is that is the null hypothesis and in this hypothesis it is mentioned there is a no significant relationship between the school climate and the job satisfaction it may be or it may not so this is the types of the research hypothesis then how you delimiting the problem so you have to delimit certain variables then area of or level then size of the sample delimited to the best methods delimited to the available tool for measuring variables delimited to most appropriate techniques you have to delimit because uh, uh, 
without delimitation, we can't do our study in a proper manner. Suppose we can take at a time 10 variables. So it is not possible to do the study on that 10 variable. So you have to limit that certain variable. Also the area, geographical area or the um, level. Geographical area is very much important. Suppose you want to study the Mumbai, whole Mumbai. So but whole Mumbai, it is not feasible to study for you. So you have to take some of the area of the Mumbai, like Brahan Mumbai or the central Mumbai or the western side of the Mumbai. So, uh, South Mumbai. So this is the area. Then size of the sample. So take a, a feasible size for your study. Then which method is best according to your research work? That is very important. And the, the select the tool for the proper measurement of the variables and the uh, use the appropriate techniques for the data analysis. So you have to deal with your in assumption is the important factors. Suppose the job satisfaction of the teacher. This is one of the examples. So in assumption, I uh, assume that the job satisfaction or dissatisfaction is an individual perception. The individual perception of job satisfaction vary according to a number of factors, including individual differences. So like in this way, you have to write the assumption of your um, research. Um, so then important uh, part of the um, component of uh, research proposal that is the methods and this method section is include four uh, part that is number one the research methodology number two population and sample number three tool and techniques number four procedure of data collection so research methodology now research methodology what you write in the research methodology so which method you have to select it for your research work. So exact method you have to write. Then you have to give the justification or the rationale of the selection of your research method. What, suppose you are selecting experimental method. So why you are selecting the experimental? What is your purpose of it, uh, to select the experimental method? So you have to give the justification about that uh, method. Suppose you have to see the descriptive survey. So why you are selecting descriptive survey? Why it is important for your study? So you, you have to write the rationale of your research method. Then population and sample. Uh, population means population means is the universe. So who will take part in your study? Suppose we take the example job satisfaction of the primary teacher. Here we have to delimit primary teacher. Now job satisfaction. So primary teacher are the your population so primary teachers so primary teachers from maharashtra or primary teachers from india or primary teachers from mumbai or any other region of the state of maharashtra so we so this is the sample of for your study then what kind of sampling procedure do you use then when you um, fix your sample suppose uh, for the maharashtra 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 primary teacher is your population and from that population you have to select your sample then which sampling procedure you have to use so think on that then tools and the techniques so what kind of measuring instrument do you use so for job satisfaction which tool you have to use you have to take some standardized tool or you have to make yourself so uh, you have to select that measuring tools and suppose you have to select the some standardized tool then why do you choose that so why you are selecting that tool job satisfaction tool by prepared by so and so so give the justification of your study for this purpose i have to select this then take techniques also say which statistical techniques uh, you have to use uh, why to select for that statistical techniques then procedure of data collection so think on these three questions how do you plan to carry out your study second what activities are involved in your research work and how much it is learned so how long does it take? First, you have to plan your study. Then what are the activities involved in your study? And 
how much it is the long um, how much um, it will be delayed so, so you have to collect the data within three months two months six months what is the actual procedure of your data collection you have to uh, show then data analysis and interpretation so what kind of data you will be collecting so what is the type of your data? It is a quantitative data or qualitative data. Then what statistical procedure will be used in order to answer research question or test your hypothesis? Then you have to collect that data in which manner, in appropriate manner, finalize it, and according to type of the data, you have to use the statistical techniques. Discussion of the result. How the result are implied for theory policy and the practices and what contribution it makes. You are at the end of the section, that is the, your result are, user, your outcomes are in your hand. So how your result implied the theory policy or how your result uh, used in a practical way and what are your research contribution in the field of education. In time schedule. So this is the time schedule. So time scale and the activity. So time scale and activity. You have to start from suppose here. Uh, for degree purpose, that, that time schedule is not required. But for the financial assistance, so it is required. So you have to give the time schedule. From this month to this month, I have prepared the document uh, from, uh, suppose, June 10 to August 10, preparation of the document and design. September 10 to February 10, this is 2010, this is previous. So, so, development of the computer aided system. Then, 11 May uh, or March to May. So, what are the activities you have to involve? Show in your time schedule. Then, budget. Your Proposal for the financial assist, assistance, so so budget is required. So you have to write the budget. So this is the example. Suppose so yeah, your budget. This is the format of budget item and the estimated expenditure. The books and journal. What is the amount of that? Then equip, equipment. Write the amount. Then field work and travel contingency. Then field uh, uh, research uh, assistance or research associated. So these are the items to prepare for the budget. So this is the cycle uh, for your reference. This is the cycle of your research. You have to choose the topic, design your study, plan your strategy, start your data collection, analyze your data, interpret your data, and prepare the research method. And all the things, it is based on your theory. And these are the, some of the tips for your research proposal. Finalize your research question. Make sure your research is logical. Identify possible weaknesses in your research. Design, acknowledge them and explain why they are there. Critical review examine structure, style, and organization. Show that you are planning to do your research carefully. So this is about the research proposal. So thank you for your listening.